welcome summer school class children. All right, let's settle down. Let's try to relax. Let's think about our chakras and whatnot. Oh, I'm going to have to tell you, this day, this day started like all the other days. I don't know. I don't remember much of the day before. Just like Memento. Just like Memento. But in the movie Memento, he had tattooed, right, all his clues. Like I've been trying to spell. Spell. Like I've been trying to spell and smell. What I did or was thinking it was much better than now I had ideas all right I had ideas but they were all paranoid I'm worried in the experiment that I am now in the paranoid mode which would send me direct to the viral video and I don't feel prepared for it children you understand not at all I need to know at least a little bit about what's going on so we're going to sit here together and you're going to help me piece together what I've been telling you. All those sermons, thousands of them, all that binaural audio, all of the things that I shared with you, all the side projects and the people, this cello that just is pieces now, right? Something happened to it. All right, let's back it up. So it's not Eddie Van Halen destroying the cello we found in the studio of the 5150. We searched for the door 5150 last night in the Magnolia Shopping Center. Okay, hold on. All right, doctor, we did learn something in that video. Super important. It was the Atkins diet. That's right. And then the Illuminati. And then who or whom is in this town or we have seen at a meeting pushes this Atkins diet. All right, who or whom as a actor of the Illuminati is in town right now, COVID style, they're stuck here. Let's see. So we got Ofra, we got Jenny McCarthy, we got Julia Dreyfus. I doubt she's got anything to do with it. We got Rob Low. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, let's not get into the story yet. That direct. Rob Low mm, showing up drunk now lately at every COVID session. Ah, we can get away with a lot more, but this Illuminati knows that the COVID, yeah. Now we got to do all our testing. Our testing of our individuals, you understand the drug or alcohol testing yeah if you're part of this Illuminati if you can get into those meetings yeah if you've got your Porsche suburban assault vehicle dual exhaust without a license plate in the back how are you getting away with that in in Santa Barbara no license plate on the back that's the Illuminati so it's a Porsche Cypress, I believe. Cypress Hill, no. Faith Hill. Oh. Miley Cyrus. All right. Katy Perry. All right. Santa Barbara. Hedge Wars. Christopher Lloyd. Nobody. Nobody knows. The protagonist is in a band called Nobody Knows. The protagonist taught cello at the Music and Arts Conservatory of Santa Barbara, Christopher Lloyd arrived to play cello at this Music and Arts Conservatory. He told the story, though, instead of how Eric Stoltz lost his job in Back to the Future. He lost it to... Whoa. All right, memento. I'm remembering now something called family ties. There was already an element of distrust in the sitcom world, and it started on Taxi, and it was pointed out by Andy Kaufman to Christopher Lloyd on the set of Taxi, who 
Christopher Lloyd was playing a burnout, alcoholic, druggy. Oh, hello, doctor. That reminded the protagonist of his father, John Horton, whose last name is in Dr. Seuss's Horton Here's a Who. And back in the 70s, people would call at those times when we would say, Do you got King Edward in a can? You better let him out. Is your refrigerator running? You better go catch it. Yeah, the 70s. Pick up the phone. Dids, the killer is in the house with you. Get out, they're calling from the upstairs bedroom. It is your stepfather, Dr. Seuss. Oh my God, here come the nightmares doctors. Thank you, children. All right, let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's see if we can steal some cool water music from... There we go. The millennials have said that the Eagles are the worst band. That's what the millennials have said on their social media. The worst band, along with Foreigner. For that, millennials... All right, kids, settle down, settle down. Put down your vapes. Let's just see what we got here on the wedding planner. Yeah, I, know the, I gotta plan the lessons, children. I gotta plan times now. It is 33 degrees, 32 degrees Celsius. Hello, we met 33, we found them. Hold on, where are they now? We were next to the Costco? No, the beauty. No, we saw three cops in uniform illegally parked and they went to see a movie about the bodyguard and the bodyguard's hitman? That sounds about right. All right, so they're in there. I ate sushi. Ah. Now it's explaining the pockets under my eyes that have tripled now, like I'm some sort of tree. You can count my age, but you can also count how many pharmacists administered a vaccination to me that did not know that hypertension and high blood pressure are the same things and they did not care. This is CVS. That is a chain, people. That means if you're in this nation, the great nation of ours, out of California, yeah, maybe in Texas or talking to Joe Kaiser, who's like the cat, like Phil Collins, just licking his wounds from another Grammy filled COVID session. Yeah, we're passing Tucker's Grove. That means we're close to the giddy and the giddy pig. But we're passing that, right? We're going to our squatting grounds. Yeah, that's right. Delavina shopping plaza where the Delavina street is a two-way street just for a block and that's where we are the rest brings you down to the shell station corporate headquarters downtown santa barbara we're trying to stay away from downtown at all from all places all things oh look at all that poison oak oh man it's just all over the mountain that's crumbling. Yeah, kind of like Malibu. Uh, all right, we're back to Point du Bay. Point Doom is a book written by Dan Fonte. All right, streams of consciousness. There's a stream under the Mission Bridge. The Mission Bridge is crumbling. There's a lot of poison oak down there. We need to go down there and do a video. All right, that's where we're going. Let's look here. In the Independent, independent.com, Santa Barbara, Independent. It says that, yeah, SOS, they're going to demolish the Mission Bridge. My bridge, my under the bridge, since the 70s, where have you been who's going to be demolishing it? And then, do you know that there's Huh. There's Indian artifacts down in there. 
What about the drawings? What are you gonna do? Is the Natural History of Museum right there across that creek. It's called Mission Creek. We've been tracking shopping carts and we showed that they'll float all the way down to the beach from where we are. We tried to tell that to Warren. We tried to tell it to the boss. He's upstairs, Larry, of the grocery outlet that's going down for the way that they flip off mentally ill right in front while their butts are sticking out and they're looking down into their screens during their break and they're saying on their shirts, COVID, it says, let's work together. And then there's five things. There's a list that say five hypocritical things that, yeah, when the COVID's over, we ain't doing that, but we haven't done it for a long time. One of them was just mentioned to somebody something, they'll try to fix it. Oh, there's a bunch of glass on the ground. Whoa. All right, that's, yeah, there was an accident here, but they never clean up after the accidents in Santa Barbara. Yeah. Now, if you got these really thin summer tires like I've been testing out, yeah, they die right away. Over one of those, Go bu- going past the construction site, yeah, I always get a thick old nail. Yeah, and that's all over these lovely hills. But... That was for Malcolm. We missed you, Malcolm. It's also for Bon Scott. Oh. We miss you. All right, we're back. We're on Duncan Road. We're halfway there. There is a lot of traffic on this foothill. This is the only way you can get in and out of town. Otherwise, you got to take that freeway. And so at times of stress, like when there's a fire, like they're talking about, with those Santa Ana winds coming hot from the north, yeah, take it back. Yeah, take it back, but I don't know. All right, we're back. Let's think about it. So there's an Illuminati in this town. It's all reaching out of this Montecito, connected to this Summerland, which is, you know, red flag is in effect right now, even though it's the world safest beach with the world safest sharks and the world's safest tar. Let's bring it back to the tar. Probably we're all using some of that right now in these vehicles, even if it's a hybrid. If you go to a place like Perry Ford that is part of this Illuminati and they immediately put in a new type of battery from a company, only they know. Yeah, everything's covered inside this experimental car that I'm driving. It's a 2018 Focus, the only one of its kind, at least in this town. It's a six shift, six shift, manual shift means you do it's fun to drive and it goes up to 180 miles yeah an hour but you know it's meant to go in Europe it's actually most of it is European it is a Ford though the last to be made all the parts assembled in Michigan that's right Detroit so that's pretty cool it's got a it's got a stamp of approval of that thing But the other parts, of course, are Canadian, French, Mexican, uh, German. That's the clutch. They had to replace it, though, while they were replacing the motor. But first, they rebuilt the motor. They did all the parts in reverse. They started with the exhaust pipe, the manifold. I don't know. I never heard that you needed all these parts, like this fake turbo that cost $1,111. And 18 cents. Yeah, they couldn't let the 18 cents go. It's Perry Ford. Perry Ford, now they've added Mazda. 
Yeah, the big M's. We were talking about morphine last night, but not the group, the drug, and saying that's what was injected into Kurt Cobain through needles um, the very first time. And after that, from the hospital, he was in the care of a nurse by the name of Courtney Love, right? Who was very jealous of a Christian faff and um, didn't want this Kurt to listen to this prodigy cellist who shouldn't have been in this a-hole band by the name of Hole that had maybe another a-hole in there. So maybe there was a duo and then maybe the them and the theys were okay in that band. I don't know. I'll have to ask. There's only one of them left. Of them. But yeah, Courtney, she hasn't seen her day in court and with the COVID, we probably won't. And the B.I. has magically been able to keep himself extracted from the proceedings up to the point where I've had certain spies try to get his handbook. Yeah, the thing that this P.I. brings to every radio broadcast or TV appearance or just doing a vlog with my nephew and yours, American Spy Fox, who did not want me to steal his likeness, but now I've even stolen, oh no, kind of a half and half SNL skit, using the likeness of this Charles. We're calling him Charles because it works well with the lemon tree in here that we're passing and it's Crocodile Restaurant and Bar and also Two and a Half Men have all this stock footage of the mission that have these nefarious padres that inside the same independent, Santa Barbara independent newspaper that I was talking about, these millennials who owe me photos that they, I gave them back in 1999 and they said, whoa, it looks like these are 80s bands photos. Can you give us something more recent? And I said, no, the article is about the 80s band Venus Bitch that I was in in France and we opened for Iggy Pop and had the chance to take that other picture which is insane to be able to get that close to that man in that, in that kind of TMZ moment so I'd like to get that back like I'd like to get back that Mercedes Benz diesel station wagon oh yeah that's what I'm seeing here and look at that little baby crib. It's all free. Oh, all right, we're gonna go get this stuff. There's Christmas decorations, yes. All right, we are preparing for the last birthday of the Lord in front of his regal cleaners with his special Zoe mask, we're calling it. But we do not use mace since my sister thinks that I might mace her the next time she speaks before the First Amendment auditor, the only one, has had a chance to ask the questions. All right, we're next to some nomads. We feel safe just like yesterday when that policeman came, but the other nomad came and blocked the policeman from disturbing our sleep or just staring at us or a license plate. Yeah, we've still got the no bicycles or skateboards allowed in this area sign, but we're taking that down. So we're at 2830I. Yeah, Regal Cleaners. We're going to turn it into an art installment. No, an art school. Before we head off the slabs, all right, we got some product here that must mean that we deliver. And I'm getting product for free. That's right. Top shelf flower, though, that's nice to get for free. From Lowell Herb Company. It's 27.6% THC. It's my favorite strain. I have now just stuck to it in these last things because it was perfect for what ails me. It keeps you creative, keeps you unbummed. I'm bummed out, but also it helps me focus and it brings my heart pressure down and all of that with a spinning mind is really helpful and helps my bipolar as well all right so i did the plug it is an indica though i can't really seem to handle sativas they make me 
grit my teeth. They people think I'm a meth. I keep telling them, no, it's just I can act like that if I add some coffee to the mix. So we're not going to do that. We found that the comedy element and things in the story was much lighter, less heavy than when we were doing the lavender. It was a hybrid. It's called lavender something, even though we wanted to do our laundry. Maybe that's what we got to do. So we're going to do some laundry. We're going to be cleaning up our closet. We're going to clean up the car, see if we can find any more clues. We haven't moved yet, but we don't have to. We learned that. We're either going to have to just sit and wait and leave this car to be fixed or whatever. Or we just keep it as is and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to that mission afterwards. We're going to see if we can um, live stream there. It usually acts weird. We're going to go through the Rocky Nook Park. I'm going to take you under my bridge, my mission bridge. A lot of stories under there. We're going to look for the artifacts. We're going to come up through the other end behind the mission in places unseen, gardens unseen, where they keep Padres sometimes hiding out like we found, playing the guitar, just until the it all dies down. This, have you seen these Padres? Have you been abused by one of these Padres? We are retiring these Padres right here. If you look on the walls, there is the sign of this Illuminati, this big A, which is the Atkins diet, but a special diet. You have to be part of this crew. I've mentioned some of the names. It makes it so, yeah, minions of the lower dimensions, like myself, we can pass any drug test if you can get on this particular program where you're drinking this particular Atkins diet so you can show up bombed. Yes, you can study bombed. UCSB. Yes, that university. You can do it. If you take this Atkins, if you if you're if you're doing the steroids and they're gonna be testing you the next day, if you be doing the piloting of a thing and they wanna test you for anything. On this program you can keep doing your addiction of choice as long as you're on this Atkins diet. The WTF experiment is happening here. Shh don't talk of it. Don't talk of it. It's that. It's the dun 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 dun. I just got shifted. Yeah, like Pavlov's dog. That's the code. I gotta spray some of this. Dracon Noir. I'm gonna pass it on to the other clients when I see them and touch them. Come on. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. It's bringing me to France. France, we found out the COVID is at the worst from anywhere. Yikes. Maybe the flights, though. Air France will be really cheap. Mm. And they feed you on that one. Do they feed you? You don't even know that it took as long as it did. Yeah, there's no line waiting for you when you get to the other side. They don't make you eat foie gras mixed in with some other product. Oh, man. So many people were pissed off when I had to eat this product at the New York Exchange. No, the New York Kennedy Airport where there was some green line, blue line, red, red line. Stand behind it. These coppers told me, these security guards of the airport, Kennedy. Yo, so I ate it on the other side, waiting on the French side before I finally came over here. And I saw that that movie that I had seen in 1981 at the Paris Conservatory called American Interdit, which is, just means banned in America. Everyone's seen it. We should demand Biden to let us see it to make up for Donald Trump. And all those lies and images and him saying, Finland was ridiculous to mention that I'm an asshole and stupid. 
But we took pictures, yeah, and the media showed it. And I bet we can find it on YouTube in its garden with its corrections. Yeah. I'm not really spinning. I'm just searching. I think the important thing is that mission bridge under the mission where two and a half men have taken stock footage. All right, Sony burned Kurt Cobain's tapes in Anaheim on the estate of the Disney. So on Disneyland property, in one of the trailer parks for the Mouseketeers to go to school, you were using that as storage units because Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were going to be the martyrs of an experiment. The experiment about Kurt Cobain's death, the backup channel for the Lord Crichton channel when it gets imploded because of the viral video will be called, game players, listen up, Cobain murder theory exposed. YouTube. Oh shit, they're here. Mm. 